Bill's a, a 3-2 win here at, at Runcorn Linnet in the, the FA Cup. How do you reflect on that game? Uh, I think looking back, it's just important that we're obviously into the draw for the next round. Um, you know, it was a tough day for us, obviously, going 1-0 up early. I think we thought that was going to be an easy day. Um, and then they've obviously scored a couple of goals and we're sort of on the back foot then. Um, but I think the reaction of the lads was great. Um, to, obviously, to show the character that I come back because it's not an easy place to come when it's, um, you know, it's away and obviously the pitch is, it's decent compared to some of the places you can go, but, um, you know, they try and make it as difficult as possible for you. Um, so, yeah, I'm just glad that we're in the, in the hat for the next round and I thought the boys, the boys showed great character. For their couple of goals in the first half, there, there kind of seemed to be a, a few protests uh, whether they were potentially a, a bit dubious to the to the referee. So, I mean, at, at that point, it's obviously quite easy to get frustrated. So, how important was it to, to kind of keep a, a level head at that point? Yeah, definitely. Um, you come to places like this, especially in the Cup and stuff, um, you feel like sometimes everyone's against you and obviously you don't get decisions that you think you might get, but you've just got to sort of keep a level head and just keep playing and sticking to the processes that you've been working on. and. Um, Trust that you'll get the right the right result, and um, if you keep doing playing the right way, you'll you'll come out with a positive result. So I think we've done we've done that brilliantly, and we reacted well. Obviously, we didn't get drawn into the officials um, and decisions and stuff. So I thought the the lads were brilliant on that front. And obviously, uh, an enforced sort of change at half time with Robert Tingler taking a bit of a knock, and, and Mike Williamson having to come on in the the second half. How do you feel you kind of coped having to obviously switch a bit sort of unexpectedly at times? Yeah, really well. Um, obviously, Alex is great. You know, he can play uh, centre half, right back, right of a three, you know, he can probably do a job in midfield. So we've got versatile players and um, it was quite a, a seamless transition. Obviously, you know, the gaffers came on, won a lot of long balls and stuff, and which is what we needed and um, showed real, everyone showed real character uh, around it. And I think um, that was exactly what we needed on the day. And it was sort of a seamless transition when, when things did go off. So just uh, really pleased to be in the hat for the next round. And uh, the sort of final stages of the game, what's the back to the wall in a, in a sense with obviously the crowd getting behind him and then throwing the, the kitchen sink forward to try and find an equaliser. Is it pleasing that now in, in recent weeks you've had that side here where you've been a goal up and have grinded out wins? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, you look at Chester, you know, we've conceded a goal right at the right of the death and it was a real sort of knock the stuffing out of us, uh, so to speak. But um, you look today and, you know, the lads have dug in right at the end and I think it, maybe we would have crumbled um, a couple of weeks before that even. So I think uh, to, to show the resilience, like you said, and to come away with the win and sort of show that we can do the dirty side of it whilst obviously sticking to a, a blueprint um, was, was massive. And I think not just in terms of today, but going forward for the season, um, it gives you a real sort of platform to know we can do that.